Okay, so all this started about six years ago when I left the British Army. Um, I think I needed a new challenge in my head. I, I was always racing motorcycles and, and, and riding bikes all the time. Um, and I wanted that the next thing. And the, the, the ultimate goal as an off-road racer is, is Dakar. So that was my, uh, that's been my dream. So it's been a long, uh, hard journey really. It's been exciting, it's been life-changing, it it's ha has been, um, hasn't all gone to plan. And now the last six months, it's actually all come together and it's, um, it's quite scary now, it's, it's there. But the preparation has is, is been mainly, has is, is been getting on the bike, getting the bike and the fundraising, getting the money to go to Dakar is the hardest thing. I can't wait until I'm actually on the bike where I can actually relax and do what I know what I can do. But yeah, it's been a long journey, a few rallies, a lot of um, fundraising, getting sponsors. That's it, yeah. So it's, it's all been a bit mixed matched. I, I just love riding motorcycles. So I've done a bit of everything. I've done the Scottish six day trial. I've done British championship enduros and actual rallies, I haven't done that many because they're so expensive. And um, I've done two in Greece and my first one, the first one using a road book, which was great and a great experience and I did better than I thought I would. And then my first desert rally in, in Africa was the Mazuga rally, which didn't quite go to plan. Um, I broke my shoulder on day three, but I managed to finish after seven days um, of racing, so that was a learning experience, a bit of a mental experience as well, because it's all, it's the whole package of training. So yeah, I've been pretty busy just riding motorcycles. The fundraising has been a mega, mega challenge. It's difficult. I mean, for me to race in the Malimoto class, which is, let's say, the, the cheapest class to enter, and uh, it's the bare bones, it's the originals, and it's still 60 grand. It's a huge amount of money. I don't make half of that in a year in my daily job, my, um, my normal job. So it's been um, lots of individuals supporting me, lots of small companies, some large companies, and I can't believe now that with less than 30 days to go, I'm sat here in SR75's workshop with that thing behind me with all the sponsors and all the logos. It's a massive thank you to all them guys. So, yeah. So yeah, I'm not the normal sort of person. I do like eating and drinking and I'm not an athlete. I'm, I'm just a normal racer um, who's got a normal job and rides as much as I can. So what I have been doing is trying to do a little bit of gym stuff and trying to do about an hour a day of stuff, whether it be mountain biking or on my motorbike, but mainly motorbike stuff. Mentally, is, again, has been a bit of a, a, I've done a few events where, like the Dawn to Dust 24 hour event, which I rode solid for 24 hours, just to, as a mental challenge really. So I've been doing lots of on-bike stuff and as much as I can off the bike and just trying to eat a little bit more healthy. So Saudi Arabia, it's a, it's a huge place uh, and it's an un, un, um, unridden place. There's not been races there, there's not been anything like that and it's a, the terrain looks varied. It doesn't look just, there's not just dunes, there's dry river beds, there's rocky terrain, there's fast going, there's technical going, but it's going to be a challenge and, and by the looks of the route, the route that is being laid out is is massive, there's long days, the longest being 900 kilometers. You do that in a car and it's tiring, so uh, yeah, me and that thing is gonna be, me and her, um, I haven't named it yet either, but um, yeah, it's gonna be a hell of an experience, long, long days. Temperatures range from minus two up to 30 in one day. It's a desert, so in the, in the, in the morning it's gonna be cold and we're starting very early, half for sometimes and hopefully not finishing too late. So the bike, it, it's not actually mine. Um, someone, a guy called John, John bought it for me. He's bought the bike and he's gonna let me ride 
Dakar on it, and it's amazing. So I can't thank John enough. He's um, been a great part of the the, the the Dakar effort, and and it is a, a pretty much a standard Husqvarna 450 factory rally. It's second hand. It's done 47 odd hours. Um, I knew the guy who rode it before, and I raced with him at Mazuga with it. So I know the bike. It's ready to race. It's ready to go. So um, it's where my romance for Dakar actually started, seeing them guys physically, mentally battling against man and, and bat, man and machine against the terrain and the, the long days. Um, that's where it all started for me. And it is the, the original class where you've just got to keep yourself going, the bike going, and you don't get any support. There's no support whatsoever. Everything we have to do on the bike, so we, we have to keep them running, keep them in a good order to get to the end. Um, sleeping in tents, no luxuries. Um, it's going to be some a hard slog, but that's kind of what I like. So Dakar Rally is something you've got to finish and that's the, the, the ultimate goal, but I've never entered anything and put all this time and effort into anything for just to go and finish. I'm a, I am a racer, I am competitive, um, I want to do well and, and I feel that I'm safer and I, I'm at my best when I'm competing. So yeah, it's going to be about pacing myself but I need to get to the finish. I'd like top 30 overall, in the top 30 overall, that would be amazing and a massive challenge. Um, but also I'd like to come top three in the, the, the originals class as well, which I think is achievable. Um, Jeff, Jeff Walker at SR75 World Team, and he has been absolutely amazing. I met him, well, I, I knew of him by reading Dirt Bike Magazine, by watching what he was up to all the time when he was a test rider, when he was writing about bikes. I was uh, keen, I was, yeah, I don't want to tell him, but he was a little bit of a hero. Um, because he was doing all the, like, the world championship stuff and, and all the Romaniacs, all them hard events. And I was lucky enough to work with Arena Cross and work alongside him um, as part of the, the, the team, the Arena Cross team. And that's when we started sort of hitting it off. And now I'm in this workshop, which is beautiful. And he's been helping me along the way, getting that looking so beautiful. And I'm going to be looking great. It's going to be, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. So on this journey, a lot of people have joined, joined the whole journey. And without all of them, it would never happen. I've got loads of people who have helped, lots of individuals and small companies. I mean, just looking at the bike with the amount of people who have supported me is great. And from John, who's bought the bike without a bike, I'm not going anywhere. Um, Mobileye, who, uh, Tanya and Greg, um, who have helped massively, and not just financially, but uh, they've paid my, my entry, um, but also it, it, it's, it's they've been part of the journey, from training, from, from, from the whole build up really. Um, Les and a few other individuals who's helped beyond, like I've lost for words for them, people who have, have believed in me and wanted to help me. So yeah, there's far too many, um, but thank you everybody. It's been an amazing, amazing um, life-changing experience. And yeah, I wanna, I'm gonna make it work. It's, it's all gonna be good. <laughs>